good ones. So we'll, we'll read that for you too. But let me read this first, and I'll read that for you. Then we have uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. But thou art an holy people. So the Most High God said to the children of Israel that you are a holy people. Do you know what the word holy means, brother? I said it does not have my underwear, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So the word holy in the scriptures means to be set apart, sanctified or set apart. So the but most high said you are a set apart people. Read. Fine, you fine. Uh, <laughs> See you later, Sid. Hey. So the Lord said he chose the Israelites to be a special people, a chosen people unto himself. That's, that's, that's the pronoun. That's what the Lord said. He said he chose the Israelites to be his chosen special people. Read. Let's see. That's true. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said we are one blood. So let's get to second address. Chapter 6. Does he have crypts involved in that book too? Well, you know, the scripture still talks about. Oh, he said the crypt of the Lord. Yeah. Well, you need to get everybody in the crypt. You need to get everybody in the crypt. No, dude. A crypt. You know the crypt? Yeah, I know that name. Tales from the crypt. Tales from the crypt. He's talking about what he was saying. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse sixty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come to be all. So the Lord said, "We all come from Adam." That's what you just said, right? We all come from one blood of people, right? And from Eve, and from Eve, and Adam and Eve, right? Eve. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But he said, "Out of the people that came from Adam, all the families that God created." He chose the people, a certain line of people that came from Adam. Read. What's the sign of this? All this, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So the Lord said that he made the world for the Israelites' sake. Which are the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You should talk to each other. Read. As for the other people. As for the other families that also came from Adam. Read. Which also come of Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? That they are nothing. But well, this is the words of the Lord. He said that they are nothing in his eyes. Read. But we like unto spittle. He compares these other nations of people to spit. Read. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from his vessel. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing. He said these other nations, they have a reputation counted as nothing to him. Read. Have begun to be lords over us. But now they're being lords over us. This is why they're raping us and murdering us and robbing us, taking all this land from our brothers and sisters. Did they not? They should go to Pioneer Chapel. They stole all this land, didn't they? Nah, this was y'all's land. Dude, it's not even that. It's just. It's, yeah. it, it, says, look at, it says in the book, too, you got to pay to Caesar what's owed to Caesar. You gotta right. pay to God what's paid to God. Right, you know what I was going into? But you know what? Neither was it the Native Americans. Let's hear it. Let's be cultivated. Let's make a nation of the This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 11. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, an adversary there shall be even round about the land. The what? The land. An adversary came around about the land. They conquered the Hispanic and Native Americans and the blacks, as they call us. Okay, and they stole this land from our people. Read. And he shall bring down thy strength from thee. You see that? And they, 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 they completely stole everything. Almost genocided the Native Americans. But why did this happen to our people? That's the question. Why are our people they at the bottom? The black brothers too. Hey, that's right. Because we are brothers. That's and the you thing. guys made the whole West. And that's all back to me. So just leave them alone. Let them. You can you can drink a little bit, brother? You can drink a little bit? 
Nope, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of wine. Just, just asking if you've been oh, drinking a little bit. Some weed too. Okay, so give me, um, give me first Corinthians three just and fifteen. And that, and Jeremiah uh, one five, and I'll be solid. First Corinthians three. Well, it won't tear it. Especially our Gadai brothers and sisters, they're being destroyed with drugs and alcohol uh, because they're under a lot of de depression, you know, being pushed on those reservations. You know, you have to imagine when this land belonged to your people and now you're reduced to only 1.3% of the total population, that, that would put anybody in a, a depressed state. So now our brothers and sisters are, are, are trying to cope with, with liquor from, from sun up to sundown. So, like I said, there's nothing wrong with a little wine, but when you exceed those certain limits, now you are not of a sound mind. And now you're letting those spirits to come into the cloud. Read one more time, King. Isaiah chapter 5, and verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. You see that? And that's why you can't reason with a drunk, because their, their mind isn't sound. Give me Proverbs 20 and 1. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, and verse 1. It reads, wine is a mocker. Wine is a what? Wine is a mocker. You see that? Now, now wine is all right, but what is the most high telling us? It can mock you if you, if you abuse it, though. Read. Strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Is not wise, and that's what's happening with a lot of our brothers and sisters. You know, I, I came from that lifestyle once upon a time drinking all day long and destroying myself and people around me. And so when you try to talk to a brother and try to give them the words of life, they can't receive it. Why? Because they're deceived with that, that strong thing. Uh, let me read one more. Second Timothy 1 and 7. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Uh, I wanted to share with the brother that he was a Gadite. He was an Israelite, but the brother, you know, he didn't really want to hear much. He smelled the liquor and the weed on his breath. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, and verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. And a what? And of a sound mind. And of a sound mind. So when we're intoxicated, when we're full of that, 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 that strong drink, mind. we're not of a sound mind. So us as Israelites, as Joshua, we got to know our limits. we got to know if that 
second glass of wine is going to put us out of a sound mind. So we got to be cautious. We got to be circumspect. We have to examine ourselves in this thing. And in terms of the weed, just real fast, give me Genesis 1 and 29. Because now, is there something wrong with marijuana in itself? No, it's a plant that on all sides grows on earth, but it's not to be abused. Remember, the Lord said, He who destroys his temple, uh, defiles his temple, God will destroy. No, God will destroy. Uh, Genesis 1 and 29. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, and verse 29. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed. Bearing what? Bearing seed. Read. Which is upon the face of all the earth. What is it for? And every tree in, in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. For meat. You see that? The Most High never said uh, dehydrate a plant, roll it up in some paper, smoke it, and you have all that poison in your lungs. No, he said it's for meat. So if it's edibles and you had some type of ailment or condition that requires such as cataracts or glaucoma and you took an edible that is actually that's okay but if you're smoking injecting snorting inhaling all that is sin the bible says that he gave us these things for me and we're going to close with wisdom of solomon 16 and 12. wisdom of solomon 16 and 12. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16 and verse 12. Read up. For it was neither herb nor modifying plaster that restored them to health. See that the Lord is saying it's not the medicines that really restore us to health. It's not it, it's not the herbs that really restore us to health. Read. But thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. But his word is what heals us. Yes, the most high has given us medicines, but it ultimately is the Lord that brings healing. This is why one healthy man could be on his on on a on life support and a sick man be on life support, but the uh, the sick man pulled through for some reason. Why? Because the Most High, he's the one who brings us in and takes us out. It's him, his word, Hamashiach Yahawashai, that brings healing to us. Okay, the medicines, yes, he's given them to us, but ultimately it's the word of the Lord. With that. All praises to the Most High by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yahshua. Kwam Yahshua.